pretty much almost all Zelda actually at one point. Yeah. But it's it's a really good pick. Uh, Fantasia Attic can stuff out with Dyros. Yeah. Um, you got the kicks. You got your big meaty moves that will block out Sonic. Oh. And it, from it, what it looks like, you can combo Sonic pretty hard. Ooh. Here's to get your roll in. That was really tricky, especially since you have to watch out for dense fire coming back from behind. Uh, one of the things that you're going to see from a lot of Legend of Zelda characters like Toon Link and Link uh, throwing out Boomerang. Uh, the Though dense comes out slower, uh, causes you to be in minor uh, hit lag, so you can get some pretty decent follow-ups off of it. Oh, the forward oh. air. Nice meteor cancel. I think we might see Chewie switch to Ganondorf. Yeah, but I think Fantasia Attic is still going to have a better time with it. That is a big dent, especially if Fantasia Attic knows how to rotate it. That is... It's hard to get is. past. Yeah. That is for sure. That dash attack on shield, not really something uh, that Lin should be looking for. Nah, definitely not. Probably one of the worst moves I think Finn, or Zelda has, rather than I think, what, down tilt? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, rolls, gets past. Ooh, okay, overshoots the forward air. Maybe you should have just gone straight for the downer, but it's a little riskier, I will say, so I don't blame Chewie for trying to call out the fade back. Uh, even though Lin has been doing it like three or four times, probably should stop with the telecancels. Uh, putting her in really odd situations and Zeus just spin dashing right into it. Yeah. So there's no point. He's, he's calling out the... Yeah. The move away with the teleports. Yeah. Especially if you are going to telecancel and try to get hip off. <laughs> but neutral bees off the dense fire. Oh. Oh, Chewie, you're nuts. Yeah, homing attack just going straight towards it, though. That'll be it. Oh. Uh, I'm curious as to why Lin went for a Nair rather than Nairus. Oh. Zeus having an opportunity to do a double jump punish off of the uh, get up attack. Not really looking for it. Ooh. Uh, so one of the good things to look out for, one of the things a lot of people from UNT, particularly Deku's, uh, I think Mythic and Captain Birdman have been practicing for it, is Mufasa's. So when you're holding shield on ledge, being pushed off and immediately getting conversion off of it. Oh yeah. There's yeah, uh, only one person can be on any given spot at on an indie Smash game at a time. You can't abuse that. It's just more rare to see that because it's yeah. kind of a niche thing. Uh, one of the things that we saw from Fantasia Attic is that she ran, uh, did forward tilt on Zeus, having Zeus Mufasa off of shield, but not getting a particular punish. Uh, one of the things that I don't see a lot of top players really look out for. The forward air. Crazy. Not the forward, I mean the forward smash. That was nuts. And game one, it uh, looks... Oh, you're right. So why do you, since you called it earlier, why do you think Zeus is going to go Ganon? I don't know, Chewie just has a habit of when things don't go his way, he switches to Ganondorf. <laughs> I don't really, I don't know what his thoughts process are. I think Ganondorf arguably does better against Zelda, especially the way Zeus likes to play. Yeah, a few Cause... hits and then that's a solid punish. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is like, I don't know what is Zelda gonna do? Tell if you teleport at Ganondorf, he forward airs. Yeah. And forward air ranges all of Zelda's moves. But with against Sonic, it's kind of weird because Sonic's weakest weakness is his lack of priority because of his un like reverse disjointed hitboxes. So um, and Ganon can can punch punch over the kick instead. I agree. And if there's any if there's Anything to say about Zeus's Ganondorf, or just Ge Zeus's playstyle in general, is very unorthodox. Yeah, it's. It's. Very, I half the time I don't think he knows what's going on. It's very fundamental. He's trying to hit where you are, uh, and his reaction time is really good. And I think that's why he gets certain particular hits. Uh, like if you go and start investing in something like Nairus, he's just going to hit you for it. Oh, the. The TV's doing the thing yeah. again. Or the build is doing the thing again. Yeah. Uh, so, everyone who plays PM, I think, already knows that 
the... Or... Oh no, I forgot about the ultimate in-game counter pick. <laughs> okay, so Sheik Ganondorf is really, really bad. Yeah, it's really bad. You can go for a, a constant chain grab. Uh, no really DI mix-up uh, needed. Yeah, I mean, down throw you can also a lot of time get out of. It's A lot of times it actually is a mix-up because down throw sends at a worse angle in this game. Uh -huh. But on the other hand, yeah, it does have a really good chain grab against Sheik. Yeah. It's just getting your hands on her. Can they go high? Ooh. Ooh, does not get the turnaround. Good fade back from Fantasia Attic. And Zeus, very smart, just immediately CC into shield. Uh, shield grab, down throw into literally any aerial you want at yeah. that point. Ganon's down throw, pretty good. Uh, Ganon's oh. arguably overall best throws in the game. You can make a, a case for him. Uh huh. Because his down throw chain grabs so many people, his up throw chain grabs spaces. His fourth throw is a kill throw. That should have been boost grab. <laughs> Ooh, it's over. Something that we've seen a lot is uh, Fantasia being on the aggressive and then going for the hit. Uh, and Zeus just standing still, either sta hiding in shield or forward tilting uh, Fantasia Addict out of the way. Basically just saying, hey, get out of my way. Ooh. Nice run up uh, in shield predicting the get up attack. And it looks like that's really been the big problem for Fantasia Addict is that she's just really aggressive. Oh yeah. Ooh, that could have been a fair. Just using the Shino cells really well. Ooh, Late Nair is gonna get punished by a crash cancel. That was very unsafe, but uh, if maybe if she would have gotten a fade back with it, could have gotten something, but it's hard to say. Ooh. I liked what Zeus was going for. Uh, it's just not working out. Oh, immediate turning meter up here. I like that option. Call it the jump. Okay. Nice DI uh, away, down and away. But falling up air from the platform, going to start. Lin on that air. conversion. Up B. <laughs> oh my god. We're 64. So shocking. All right. That's it. A Sparta kick. Yeah. Grab ledge. Mm hmm. And, uh,. Game three. I mean, that was mainly the big problem that we saw from Fantasia Attic. Just, she was just on the aggressive all the time. Ganon CSS. She so. she never gave it time just to sit, either like shoot needles, wait for Zeus's approach. Uh, because in that particular point, like you have the ups on frame data, uh, positioning, you can stall Zeus out. Uh, with needles because Cape only stops one rather than the multitude that's being thrown. So this is a, this is gonna be rough. ZS is pretty good on FD. Also, Ganon really a lot of times needs platforms to move around at all. But I mean, with Chewy, it's like, it's weird because he doesn't use wavelands at all. He just kind of hits stuff. So I don't know what his optimal state would be. Oh, bad double jump down air coming from Zeus. Really relying on the giant hitbox. Uh, but I mean. He's played ZSS enough to know that a charge down smash is going to come at ledge, especially nice. if you're going to recover high. Okay. Nice spot dodge to uh, up tilt. Very, very classic ZSS move. Classic. Classic. Definitely a classic ZSS yeah. moment. <laughs> oh, we got lasers in every direction. Left and right. Uh huh. The really the directions that you that you could you can shoot them in. Oh. oh my god! If you could just shoot lasers up, what a! Can you imagine that? Just to like catch people landing, you just fire your gun in the air. Wow! I'm coming up with some really bad ideas right now. And uh, one of the things that we saw, Fantasia Attic not wanting to wait for the charge or for the initial knock up of the uh, of the down smash. I want to talk about something that just happened. Fantasia runs behind Chewie and starts a down, goes into crouch to start a down tilt and Chewie jabs in the opposite direction and hits Fantasia at it yeah. and she gets sent into knockdown. The reverse jab hitbox on Ganondorf goes back to the back shoulder of his arm on the animation. It's very okay. big. I mean, he is the king of evil. What more can I expect? 
Uh, one of the things that uh, Deku's from UNT really likes to implement is the reverse jab hitbox. What he'll do is that he'll do a uh, rising back air into Waveland and to reverse jab. It's interesting. Yeah, it's a very, very solid Yeah, because you setup. can mix it between that and like turnaround grab, I imagine. Yeah, exactly. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Zeus being very strong. That's it. Yeah. If Fantasia Attic is going to commit with a projectile. Uh, Ganon's Megabus is just immediately gonna hit her out of the way. It's true.